they're and I just found this to be the most interesting thing. And it's because I I'm starting not to like Meek Mill because of this. I can't lie. <laughs> I can't lie. No, no, because oh, yeah. he's it's the clown to me. So backstory before I play it out. Meek Mill is at a sneaker convention and there is a reseller that he's there and he's trying to convince him that his prices are higher or too high for what he's selling his goods for. Um, Meek Mill looks skinny here. Hmm. That's a little weight. Buy this from the store for the regular price. Why would I buy him here for 500? And give you a free commercial? That's a bad move. I got to teach you how to hustle. You want the 500? So look, you want to give me a... Uh, I could buy these from the store right now for 300. You want 500? That's a bad move. I'm gonna buy them from you, but that's a bad sell. You gotta come down. Just wasn't give it to Meek Mill for the low. Get the commercial. Boom! I might come back and buy more. You know? Where my other sneak at? 500. So I might, now I'm going to go to the next table. I might spend $5. Oh, okay, all right. We got a track. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. All right, I'm about to spend it. I'm, I'm about to spend it now. So, so um, essentially, like I said, what happened, he went to the reseller, told him that they're selling it for a lesser price there at other places. You should be selling it for a cheaper price, basically because I'm Meek Mill and you could do a commercial. Now, at the same sneaker convention, Jim Jones is seen with a guy. I want a man from Cola kicks his name as well. He also from Queens. Queens get the money, you heard? He get, he get to meet these Travis guys. They are official. So this guy gifts him Travis Ones. Mm -hmm. um, Travis Ones are $1,600 right? yeah. on GOAT. How much? Sixteen. $1,600 on GOAT. It depends on the size. 17 as you get higher, 16, 1700. But gifted him these shoes in order to do that little two second promo about that. Mm -hmm. um, especially because we're all content creators up here. I want to know are you doing free work for your favorite rapper or whoever? I'm not doing free shit for Meek Mill, nigga, in 2023. But um, nah, that. I don't, nigga, Meek. I ain't gonna what lie. are we talking about? I man? think from the content creator uh, standpoint, especially the guy who gave it to him for free. Um, dependent. What was this in New York? Like, I'm trying to figure out where was this at. Do you guys know where the sneaker con was? This was a sneaker con. I, this wasn't a sneaker con. It was a Got Soul. Uh, this was in oh, this was in New York. New York got okay. Some. So it was in New York. Jim Jones is from New York, so that's a potential. What? Why you keep making? No, no go ahead, go ahead, because okay. So like I was saying, that was a potential hit for him. Whether he need he wants to interview him, he might have him come in the store later. That's gonna bring more of a crowd in for him. The other guy who sold them for five hundred. Probably he's not even from the New York. He probably don't really care for Meek Mill. May not even see him again if he is from New York. But um, Jim uh, Meek Mill also reminds me of when Fifty Cent went to the store and was talking about how the prices were too high on the sneakers too. So, man, you cannot pay your bills on exposure. I, I mean, but, uh, but you don't know. Talking about. At the end of the day, we don't know what the deal was. Like nigga, like they could have like. Jim, if he's from Queens, Jim Jones is from Queens too, right? He gives Jim Jones always oh, these people love like bro, little baby open up a, a, a fish shop. Just people are gonna go to it. Like Jim Jones gets a sneaker from a store, they're going, bro. It happens. Like that fifteen hundred dollars, he's gonna gain that over in that video. First of all, Jim I, Jones is from the Bronx, but go ahead, Damo. Isn't so the Jim Jones clip was that not in the dude's store or was that no? That, that was at the convention, the same event. Yeah. I mean, that nigga just like Jim Jones and that nigga didn't like me Mill. It's that simple to yeah. me. I mean, even 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 if you say cuz again, we can play the long game all we want. We can we can say that oh, Jim Jones could go to the store, do this and then people could come in here and act like you want to buy. It. First of all, the sneaker game isn't set up like that. That's not how this industry specifically works. One. Two, the idea of doing things for exposure is the same reason why Meek Mill's first deal, he got screwed over. 
That's the reason why Jim Jones' first deal, he got screwed over. That's the reason why uh, Jim Jones feels like he got screwed over for true religion. That's the reason why Jim Jones feels like he got screwed over on the, uh, uh, what show were they on, him and his wife? Um, Love and Hip Hop? Yeah, Love and we'll Hip Hop. We'll call it Love and Hip Hop, I think. No, it was whatever. Love and Hip Hop. It yeah. was Love and Hip Hop, okay. That's the reason why he got screwed over on Love and Hip Hop. And now he's trying to pay it forward by screwing over some small time person. That's the part. That's the <laughs> way that I personally do you think, it. But do, do, do you do you believe in the the saying the first one over the hill gets the lashes? Do you believe in that? Like Somebody had to go through something. Individual for lashes, or yeah, like the first one over sure. the hill gets the lashes. You never heard that. You, you real country. I ain't calling. I, I ain't never heard it, but I get the premise. Yeah, like well, maybe, some people have to go. Like you know all this stuff, Omar, because all the people who made mistakes before you, like when Jim Jones and Meek Mill were getting into these deals, they didn't have all of these people teaching mm-hmm. them. Like, oh, I don't I'm know. Not, again, <laughs> I, I'm not blaming. I'm not blaming them for doing it. You do yeah, what you I had to do. We had that conversation funny. last week. But what I'm saying is, you why try to pass that buck on to somebody? Honestly, Meek. You should be spending because he's done this before with that Atlanta Waterboy shit when he gave like five oh, yeah. or twenty dollars. Mm-hmm. If you got the bread, especially showing it mm-hmm. visibly, give them niggas the bread. You should you should be now. If you're not, you also shouldn't be buying shoes for five hundred dollars that you claim that you can get for three hundred. I know that's your finesse. I know that's you're trying to get your wig. You're trying to get it off. But come on, dog. That, so, that's that's, but that's so price. so so. Do you believe in paying for promotion at all? Right. Paying for promotion, yeah. If somebody's doing work, I believe in paying for them, yeah. Like, okay, so if Jim Jones built his character, like, and that's the reason, like, record companies had the issue with people, like, is they were building up their names, then they were running to the movie industry or running to TV and making money. So, like, Jim Jones spent all this time building his name. Shouldn't that be in exchange for these shoes? You don't think so? No. Not off of not off nah, of not much, off of an individual business. So you how much think, do you think your business is about to boom because Jim Jones bought shoes for you? That's but, what, so that's what if it you're really in New York, down to though. If you're in New York, that's like if little baby went to Gwinnett, right? Which is in the north side of Atlanta. He goes, little baby goes to Soul Play in Gwinnett, and they give him a free pair of uh, uh, Dior ones, right? That store is getting fifteen hundred dollars more worth of traffic, like in like. Yeah, say, even if it was ludicrous, okay. ludicrous is getting fifteen hundred dollars worth of traffic. And let me say this: last year I did um, the ATL market for some guys from Boston that I know. And granted, I be outside interview. Do do do. K camps walking by. I'm like y'all. K camps walking by. Y'all should try to get a shirt, take a picture. I bet, you, which I already know. Once they took that picture, because I was running their social media account. Once they took that picture with K Camp and posted it, half of Boston was writing them, "Yo, good shit." Da, da, da. Now people are putting eyes on their work because they never seen that before. They they from Boston. We don't get celebrities in Boston. So even to think like, "Wow, K Camp had my shirt on." To Boston, it's like, exactly. oh snap, this is dope. Y'all are moving, y'all are grooving <laughs> out here. It's like, well, K Camp, we see K Camp. But, but see, like, you see how she, you don't think K Camp is a big deal, but to some people, he is. And Just because these people aren't no, big that's not, well, well, that's not why I'm laughing. Yeah. I'm about to say, I'm, that's why he was laughing because it's K Camp. Yeah, exactly. But see, that's the K- K- a hell of an artist. Yeah, we watched K- him live. K-, K Cam just sold out. I, I, you could say what it is, but independently Jeez. sold out ma- like mainstay. Exactly. He's like, not even. On, he's not even geez. signed to a label right now. K Cam, <laughs> please. I'll take it. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh, hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> like, so, so, what do you do? And like, how? What? What are you selling? Like, ads. That, that that's the thing, though. Oh, Omar, like, like. Oh. That's people move off of those things, and that's how they pay it for. And oh, not for I, nothing, I, even when we showed up at the podcast and had it lit up in there, at, whoop whoop whoop! Y'all have a great podcast. I'm not taking that from y'all, but when we was up in there, turning it up, do do do. Oh, I bet people give me a sticker, give me a pen. The, yeah, so yeah, they left the pen. Gotta, oh, I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> what what <laughs> did you say? They, they, they left, left the pen. pen. They I'm about to say pen. I got a bag oh. full of pens and stickers right in the middle. Well, I was yeah, like, I didn't mean for you. To- <laughs> Y'all had a lot of them. So. Hey, I didn't mean for you to leave with them because I ain't gonna lie, I'm surprised TSA did not stop you. Yeah. <laughs> but like that's people, all people... Them, that's all them pins and stickers. That niggas I'm surprised. Hey, hey, Omar, that. Omar, maybe, maybe it comes down to like, maybe you don't know your own like worth as bad, being folks. on Let's Keep It a Buck. Because Omar, I guarantee you, with this podcast, you can walk outside and get free stuff. 
Like, because oh, you not, earned I'm it. Not, listen, 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 listen. I'm not, I'm not saying that I can't get that. And I'm not mm-hmm. saying that Meek Mill or Jim Jones shouldn't be trying to use their name in order yeah. to get those things. I personally feel like as an individual, yeah, the idea of trying to pay your bills based off of exposure in this specific manner is backwards thinking because somebody out there is willing Nate, to do both. I had that. Oh, Nate, Nate, I, I think I think I had that conversation. I think I had this conversation with you. Mm-hmm. There was a time I was dealing with Snipe, who mm-hmm. were going from store to store trying to yeah. you know get some stuff set up. Mm-hmm. Um, and when we found out that not only were those people paying for the shoes to promo it early for the store, mm-hmm. sometimes they were even paying more mm-hmm. just for the security of it. Yeah, you can have the best of both worlds, but there's yeah. too many people because we heard somebody on our podcast say they would sell t shirts with Anwar Say Damo for three dollars over. Make, no, no, you he, see that he will make he will make t shirts uh that will cost him 25 and sell it for twenty dollars in the hood, or sell it back to the people for twenty dollars, just for the exposure. That, okay, that's dumb. not even just for the exposure, <laughs> but just be, to help the streets type shit. I'm but like, Omar, right. but the the what you just described with the sneaker store is different. If I have the leverage of getting a shoe early, that is different. Now I have a certain level of leverage that you can't get anywhere else. Now, if that same store couldn't get it early, then people would not be paying because I could just go to another store that will offer the exposure and you could shop it that way. But you're you're giving the example of the store having a certain leverage that everybody doesn't have. Some of them, I'm, and Holla, they do. But go ahead, Damo, go ahead. Go I was about to say, Holla, she, I get where y'all coming from. Uh, y'all, y'all aren't wrong in this instance. It's just for this specific situation with this guy, again, I context matters to me. Was this was Meat Mill walking around filming, vlogging, or whatever it was, and then approached the booth and and had something going on for a video that could have helped them, or was this just Meat Mill just happened to be at some sneaker convention? This okay. guy's been selling sneakers. Mm-hmm. Meat Mill walks up and he's like, "Shit, what deal are you gonna give Meat Mill?" He's like, "Fuck that, nigga! I'm just selling shoes for five hundred dollars." Then they whip the phones out and it okay. becomes this big thing. So context matters. Okay, I think we're arguing two different things. I think Meek Mill is corny. I think that guy is legitimate for there that. We go. I'm talking about the Jim Jones clip, though. I was talking about Jim Jones. Oh, I have no issue with the Jim yeah. Jones thing. There's two New Yorkers. Yeah. Um, and that nigga, again, that nigga probably like Jim Jones more than other buddy like Meek Mill. That's yeah. really probably what it came down to. And I like, think the dude's valid. Like, if I don't, you, Meek Mill, you don't mean nothing to me for me to do it like and i think that's okay for people to say like i have no problem with this and not for nothing look at the cultures you're you're looking at in the video who is selling to meek mill in the video he looked jewish no Yo, he, stop. he looks stop. hispanic stop. this podcast uh, done. <laughs> some sport. no disrespect to the hispanic community yeah. but and, he and looks jim jones is and him. jim jones is what a black guy who's from New York that's vibing with him. I bet he connect with him and Jim and Jim Jones gonna keep walking into that store. Yeah. And for the person that said what part of Boston, I'm from Dorchester, and no, there are not celebrities in Boston. The club does not count. I'm talking about people that Jason really Tatum? walk around and go to events. Bro, they got Jason Tatum at it on that city, boy. It's crazy. No, no, no. But that's what threw me off when originally you was like, uh, K Camp pulled up in, in Boston and everybody went crazy. I'm like, no, I would assume Boston. in a oh, so it wasn't in Bo- okay, so at first you were like in Boston, the Atlanta, um, uh, the Atlanta Tell Street Market, and he mm-hmm. was going to boost buying stuff. Thank and okay. the people in Boston, I told them, take a picture because first off, you're not gonna get you'll get close to a celebrity, but someone actually supporting your brand, you're not gonna get close to that. You're not, they don't support out there, so. You know? all, all I'm saying at the end of the day, in the beginning of the night, you could do what you do. Hey, you, you if you want to give out a free shirt, give out your free shirt. Um, exposure does not pay the bills. It just does not. There's, there's other ways to promote yourself besides giving out. I, I had a um, I had a friend for his clothing line. He said the same thing. Yo, what if I just started shipping out, you know, uh, these outfits to different celebrities to get them to promote it. Uh, and then also, what if I paid them? And I was like, man, you were about to sit on the eighth page of an IG uh, uh, post yeah, or the 19th eight. reel. Sure, he's sir. not going to post no link. And your conversion rate is going to be dog shit. Well, I know Nick, Nick from way before the fame, I think, 
uh, yeah, yeah, uh, little Yachty came to um, sneaker con and he gave Yachty something for free. And then that next day, I think Drake or he was with Yachty was with Drake and posted something. And that video got him 20,000 orders from him giving Yachty that one shirt. Like, so like, I mean, promotion. I could tell you, I could tell you outliers all day. I don't know what that means. It yeah, doesn't mean, much but, much. but, but that's why people, that's why in companies, whenever the economy go like this, they cut the marketing team first because there's no tangible dollar value in marketing. Like you can't tell, but every company pays for marketing. There's a reason because it works.